First time traveling with a firearm for the first time. Taking a P11. It's uh, gonna go ahead and have it unloaded with the action back. Two 10 round magazines, factory. No ammunition in them at all, completely empty. And 20 rounds of nine millimeter that is in the factory box, which is what they prefer. Um, any kind of container that can be used for shipping in the factory box is the preferred method. Going to close it. Two Brinks TSA locks. They suggest that you don't use TSA locks because you can't trust TSA. But just to make it so there's no complications, I opted to go ahead and go with TSA. Both of them are locked. And this is going to remain exactly like that in this suitcase. And it will not open again until I go to Arizona. Okay, so I'm back from my trip. Um, went from Virginia to Arizona, Arizona back to Virginia again. And it, um, transporting a gun basically went without uh, a hitch. Um, I know in the earlier video I, I had a uh, the first half of the video, I I'd, I'd said that it wasn't necessary to use TSA locks um, because of not being able to trust the TSA, but I had mixed results with uh, dealing with checking the baggage in, both going there and back. It went without a hitch, but I had a different experience each time. Uh, from coming from Arizona back um, to Virginia, they had asked if the locks were TSA. Um, so I guess it's a good idea to go ahead and use TSA locks when you're when you're locking your gun up just because of the fact that uh, it would probably if I didn't have TSA locks that individual not knowing the rules with TSA or the FAA probably would have had to verify it and it would just take time so uh, no harm no foul they uh, each time had given me a uh, firearms declaration tag looks like that I'm going over to Arizona, they had put the firearms declaration tag in the gun case. They had me open it, verified it, had thrown the, the, the declaration tag inside because uh, she said that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, coming back, they just threw it in the bag and not in the actual case itself. Uh, also, when I came back, I did not have the action lock back. I just had it like how I showed it earlier in the video, just with the, the action forward. Um, they did inspect and gave me a notice of inspection on the way back. Uh, they did not inspect my bag on the way over. Uh, so, so each time was a little bit different, going there and coming back, but either way, uh, even though mixed results, it was positive and I was able to go and carry my, my firearm with my concealed weapons license in Arizona just fine for the week that I was there and come back just fine. Um, one thing that I, I don't know if I mentioned in the first half was that the gun cases need to have the double locks like this so that you can lock it on either side. And as you can see, my Beretta M9 case also comes that way, as well as my, my SIG case also has two two spots there. So if you, if you get it from the actual um, firearms distributor, it'll, it'll come that way. But I think most aftermarket ones will also have it where you're able to lock it on either side for transporting on uh, airlines. And uh, that's it, I uh, hope you learned something, I know I always do.